Colton with Fortune Center Calgary, and I'm here today with another lovely piece of inventory. This one is a 2024 Cayenne. Now for 2024, there were a whole bunch of changes to the Cayenne. Uh, some of them you can see outside, uh, slightly different front end, new headlights, uh, rear end changed as well, taillights are different, and then uh, quite a few changes on the inside. The whole kind of instrument cluster is uh, is new. There's some new options that weren't available before, the gear lever moved around, uh, lots of really cool stuff. Uh, today, I wanna talk about the features on this one in particular, uh, but if you wanna know more about the changes of the Cayenne overall, um, we're happy to, uh, to do some of that stuff for you too. In fact, we plan on shooting a bit video highlighting some of those differences, so keep a lookout for that. Uh, but again, let's dive into this one in particular. So starting with the outside, this is Chromite Black Metallic, which is a new uh, new black. It's only been around for a little while. Uh, to my eye, not that different from the jet black uh, metallic that it replaces, but it is new and a little bit different. These wheels are a 21 inch. This is the RS Spider design wheel. I think it looks quite good on the car. Uh, also worth noting, once you get to 21 inches, you gain the uh, wheel arch extension in body color. Anything smaller than that, if you went with a 19 or a 20 inch, it would be an unpainted black uh, wheel arch and it wouldn't extend from the body, it would be flush. So um, that is just an, another little aesthetic uh, difference that you get when you go with the larger wheels. Uh, other stuff outside, if you go around to the to the back of this one, you'll see this one has the sport tailpipes in silver. So the standard tailpipes uh, do have a silver finish, but it's a little bit of a more matte finish where the sport tailpipes are uh, kind of a shinier silver and they are the round pipes versus the standard trapezoid shape. So they are a little bit sportier. And then you'll also see the trailer hitch was optioned back there. So most people will put that on for a bike rack or something like that, but the car can tow quite a bit, 7,700 pounds. In fact, uh, they, they do offer a lot more utility uh, that do the Cayennes that I think most people realize. As well, the roof rails are optioned on this one. The trailer hitches, if, if you don't get that from factory, you can add them after the fact. The roof rails though, you can't. If they're not put on a factory, you can't decide later that you want them. So uh, always nice to see them equipped from factory. Uh, some other stuff outside. Actually, if we go to the front, uh, you'll see there's kind of a big round thing, uh, camera looking device on the front. That's for the adaptive cruise control. So you've got that sensor there. You can set your following distance from the car in front. And if they break, uh, then this car will automatically break to maintain that distance that you've set. And then also I mentioned uh, the new headlight kind of shape for this year. There's also some new headlight technology available and that is the um, HD matrix uh, LED headlights. So um, it, Kind of started a few years ago, Porsche added the LED headlights that had the automatic high beam function. Then they introduced the Matrix headlights, which had 84 individual LEDs per side, and it could isolate um, you know, more just the, the LEDs that were affecting the, the car as it uh, drove by the driver and um, keep the rest of the high beams on. Now this new HD system has thousands of LEDs per side, much more precise, and you'll you'll kind of see the, the lights in front of you moving and different areas being highlighted as you signal to change lanes and stuff like that. It's really quite a fascinating thing. I think we may have done a video highlighting that already, but if not, that too is coming. It's really cool, neat new technology. And then a couple of other little things uh, on the outside one you can't necessarily see right now, but if you open the door, it has the puddle light projectors, so it'll uh, project Porsche onto the ground when you open the door, uh, just kind of welcoming you into the vehicle. A subtle touch, but but I like it for sure. Um, and then also soft closed doors, which I think is far uh, too infrequently selected in our cars. If you just very kind of gently let the uh, let the latch bite, it kind of sucks the door in the rest of the way, so you don't have to worry about did you give it enough force when you close the door? Is it actually closed? Uh, it kind of sucks it in and makes it a lot uh, a lot more premium an experience, I think, opening and closing the doors uh, when you have that that feature. <clears throat> Let's move on to the inside where this one gets, uh, I think, quite interesting. It's an all new uh, interior color. So it has the full leather interior first off. So you have leather not only on your seats, but the dashboard upper and lower and the doors are all leather wrapped. This one though is the two tone. So it's black and bramble, they call it. So the upper part of the dash is, is black but then your seats in the lower part of the dash and doors are bramble, which is kind of a dark purpley color. Really, really cool. We sell so many just black interiors. I love to see a different uh, a different color and a whole new one available that we haven't had before. So works works quite well with the black too. I, I really like it on this car. Other stuff inside uh, the Premium Plus package for one. So that is uh, kind of a catch-all package. It gives you most of the features that um, you know the majority of the buyers consider must have. So with that package, you get the panoramic roof, you get um, a seat upgrade. You can choose either the 14-way or 18-way seats. These, this one has the 14-way, which is 
the more popular seat. It's not quite as heavily bolstered, so it's a little bit easier to get in and out of, but offers you the uh, power thigh extension as well as four-way lumbar support and driver and, and passenger position memory. And then you get uh, seat ventilation with the package. You can add heated seats in the rear as well as four zone climate control. So you can have independent uh, climate zones and temperatures for not only the driver and passenger, but also two separate zones in the rear. Uh, you get the Bose, uh, Bose sound system upgrade. You get the surround view camera. And now for 2024, uh, you can get the uh, 3D surround view, which, which this would have. So not only can you see you know, top down and all the way around the car, but you can actually um, kind of change your perspective. So it almost looks like you're looking at the car um, from, from outside the vehicle and can spin around it and change your, your camera angle effectively. It's a really, really cool technology that they've introduced into Cayenne this year. Um, I think that's just about everything in that package. I may be forgetting some stuff, um, but a couple of other important features inside. One is the GT sports steering wheel. I really find more and more that's a must have feature for me. Changes the feel of the wheel quite a bit. It's thicker. Uh, you have kind of the bulges at 10 and two, you have the center marker, and then aesthetically it's a little bit different and sportier looking as well. Um, it's the steering wheel that you're physically interacting with more than anything else. So I really advise people try, uh, try them, them both out, see which one you like better. To me, the GT wheel uh, makes a big difference. Uh, heated steering wheel is standard, by the way, and multifunction, so you're not changing the functionality, just kind of the, the look and feel. And then uh, as well, the passenger display is optioned, which is another new feature for this year. So of course you have the uh, large center screen, the PCM as they call it, Porsche Communication Management uh, System. But now you have the option to add a second screen in front of the passenger. Now with that screen, uh, you can't see it from the driver's perspective, right? It, it kind of, um, uh, well, I was gonna say dims, but not even, it's just entirely invisible from the driver's perspective. So you're not distracted by it, but the passenger can see it. They can do just about everything you can do on the main screen over there uh, on, on the passenger side. You can also subscribe to a streaming service that allows that passenger to watch videos on that screen, which makes obviously uh, road trips a whole lot more enjoyable for them. Uh, so yeah, cool new feature, nice to see on this example. And then the headrest to front and rear embossed with that Porsche crest, uh, another subtle feature, but I think adds up to make a big difference. And that pretty much sums up everything I wanted to talk about with this one. So if you're interested, please do give us a call or pay us a visit to come check it out. Thanks very much for watching. Thank you.